This is a tutorial showing you how to create a decision-making exercise using Moodle's lesson module. In your course you need your editing turned on. Select Add an activity and then Lesson and choose a name for your lesson. Our students are going to be put in the shoes of a climber who has some tough decisions to make on the Alpine peaks. You can set a time limit for the lesson, you don't have to. Maximum number of answers means how many choices you want them to make. We'll just make them have three for now, although you can change this. When you first begin doing lessons, there are so many options to choose, it's easier just to ignore most of them. Display ongoing score does mean that they can see their points building up, so that's quite useful for us. You can also let them take the lesson more than once, but for the most part, if you just ignore everything else and then scroll down to the bottom of the page, and save and display. Where it says what you'd like to do first, choose add a question page. We get presented with different question types we're going to go for multiple choice because we want the students to have a choice of decisions to make. In the HTML editor you put the first question and of course you can add images and hyperlinks. You can also enlarge the view by clicking the enlarge editor top right. Then as you scroll down in answer 1, that's where you put the first decision that the student might make. And in response 1, you'd put your feedback if they were to hit the button to make that choice. Score is where you allocate a number of points according to how good or poor the decision is. That would have been a poor decision, I'm going to give it 0. Answer 2, you put your second decision in and the feedback if they chose that and that's a slightly better decision so I'm going to give it 2 points. You decide how many points you want to give it. Where it says jump to in both of those answers, that's extremely important but we'll leave it for now, come back to it later. We just have two decisions and we're going to choose add a question page. See the structure behind the lesson here, there's the question page we made. In order to understand what jumps are, we need to make the next question which either of those decisions will lead to. So we put the title again, in the HTML editor we can put the second question, and as we did before in answer 1, we write the first option that the student might decide to choose. And then in response 1, we put our feedback. We can allocate the number of points according to how well we rate their thinking, but in this example I'm going to give the first one two points and the second one is still going to have one point. You don't have to allocate zero points. So again we have a second decision, my second feedback, and this can still have one point. Now I'm going to scroll down, add a question page, and then look at the structure as it's going so far. Jumps means the page the student gets directed to according to which decision they make and it's important that the correct pages are linked to in order for our lesson to progress in sequence. So if we click on the editing icon to go back to question one getting started, we're now going to make sure that whichever decision the student takes will lead them, in this case, to our question two called early in the morning. So if I go to jump one, find the title of our question two early in the morning and select that and do the same if they make the second decision. Make sure Jump To links to that next question. Incidentally, if you'd like more formatting options, tick Use Editor and you get the regular HTML editor back. Now if we go back and look at the structure of the page, you can see that both of those decisions in question 1 take them to early in the morning. If we select the Preview tab, top left, we can see how our lesson is going so far. Whichever answer we select now, we're going to get a response. In fact, we made a good choice because we have two points out of a total two so far, and then we get our feedback. If we click continue, we get to the next question. However, choosing either of these at the moment is going to take us to a dead end because we haven't made any more questions. I've added another question page called Clouds Ahead, but this time 
one of the decisions, the second decision made, is actually so bad that it's going to kill the student off and going to end the lesson. So in my second decision, I'm going to give it zero points. Then when I scroll down and add a question page, we go back to the structure. Incidentally, look how my question two early in the morning, both of those decisions link to my question three in the jumps. I'm going to choose a branch table, which is basically just a page of information. This page explains why it was such a poor decision the student made that they can no longer carry on in the lesson. So once I've given the information, where it goes to jump, instead of selecting the next page or a named page, I'm actually going to select end of lesson. I don't have to put anything in description, but I will do. Then I'm going to scroll down and add this branch table. You can see how the structure is building up now and for each of the pages the jumps link to another page which I have chosen. Once you've made all your questions it's important to ensure that the final feedback takes you to the end of lesson page. In fact you can see there some of the pages that we've created along our way that have been linked to before. Also check where it says jumps that your decisions are linking to named pages you've made and not to next page or previous page. If you add extra or if you start rearranging them then those links are going to break. Let's click preview now at the top left and have a look at the lesson that we've made. I think Simon is up to the job because he's got brand new clothing and equipment and he looks the part. Although that was a poor choice, it's earned us zero points, experienced climbers often have worn clothing and equipment. We're advised to cross an icy gully as early as possible because I think when the sun rises there's a chance of rockfall as the snow melts. Which was a good choice this time, it's given us two points, let's continue. As we set off for the summit it gets very cloudy, what should we do? I'm going to select Turn Back, Better Safe Than Sorry. This has gained us another two points and we're alive. Simon throws a strop and throws his rope in a section of crevasse. I don't know what that means so I click the hyperlink and check the definition. Then I'm going to go back and make my choice. He's a bit of a liability, Simon, so I think I'm going to carry on on my own and leave him to it. I make that decision. It hasn't earned me any points. In fact, it says I'm just asking to die. If I click continue, we get taken to what we now know is a branch table, giving information as to how come that was the wrong choice. In fact, it looks like I've died and I've reached the end of the lesson. So I made a poor decision. I hope you make a good decision and decide to have a go at the Moodle lesson module.